All right, check this out. This is a smoke leak detector. You can use this for EVAP systems. It's pretty cool. You can also use it for intake systems. Ansel sent me this to try out, so let's check it out. The size of it is really nice. It's nice and tiny. Normally only dealerships and independent shops had these. It wasn't something you would buy for your house, but they've made them very affordable and small, so it's gonna work out great for any DIY who wants to do some diagnosing at home. This is what we have here. There's a Schrader valve remover tool. Got a hook. It's gonna go on top, then you can attach it under your hood and just hang it. Surprised there was no oil in there or no fluid to um, use it, but all you need is actual baby oil. So that's kind of nice. It's not something special you have to order and just use baby oil. And there's a hose and you have the power connection right here. So let's try this thing out. Put some oil in it. You can see where the line is. There's a fill line on the back. All right, I'm just gonna try a little bit. Be careful, it's hard to see that sight glass. So, put the cap on. Let's hook up the hose. And the power supply. And just hook that up to a 12 volt battery. Give it a try, turn it on. There we go, it's pumping. Oh, there it goes. We got smoke. Looks like it works really well. That's cool. All right, let's go try it out on a car. All right, so here's the cap for the EVAP system. You could just pop a line off if you want to, but we'll take this cap off. And down there, you can see where there's a purge solenoid. The purge solenoid is normally closed on most vehicles all the time until it's activated with 12 volts and a ground. And then on the back side near the fuel tank, you're going to have a vent solenoid and near the vapor canister. And the vapor canister valve is normally open unless it's energized with 12 volts and a ground. So right now the only thing in the system would be that vent valve is open. So you would need to close that if you're going to test the system. Otherwise it's just going to be pouring out. You can either plug it up or you can activate it so that it stays closed. There's the um, Schrader valve. So we're gonna take that Schrader valve out. All right, there's the tool. Take the Schrader valve out, maybe. Okay, this doesn't wanna come out. All right, so this Schrader valve doesn't wanna come out. This vehicle's old, so it's been in there over 20 years, but, can pop the line off right here. There we go. All right, so this is gonna eliminate, we could actually test the purge valve. We could put smoke in here and make sure that it doesn't come out. But I don't have a code for that, so I'm not gonna test that right now. All right, so we'll just take the end of this and stick it in there the best we can. All right, so I got a piece of hose here. I'm gonna put that on just some rubber tube slide that in that's good all right uh, it's hooked up to the battery in there let's turn it on I'm just gonna pull this out just to see once we have smoke there we go Alright, good. 
push it in there. It's gonna push it through the system. So you can see right there, smoke coming out of the gas cap. So I just loosened it up to just to demonstrate it, but you don't see any smoke now. But if you had a gas cap with a bad seal, this is how you can tell. And you would take a look at the seal. Yeah, the seal looks okay on this one. So while that's running with the system completely closed, you can see if you see any leaks, you know, go in with a flashlight, check the hoses that go all the way back to the tank. You could even pop the top of the tank off. Sometimes there's an access in the back seat. See if the top of the fuel tank is leaking at all, then you could see that. And you can also check for intake leaks. You can just pop off one of these hoses seal off the end put that in and then see if you have an intake leak if you had a fuel trim issue sometimes there's intake gaskets that are leaking or even something that's just not hooked up you could have a hose that popped off or something and something that's not wicked obvious that you can't see it might be something underneath so that's pretty cool there's a whole leak detection guide on the side as well you can see p0442 and below it p0436 small leaks are very hard to find sometimes so that's nice that they've added that feature in there there will be a link in the description if you're interested in a smoke leak detector definitely check this one out it's easy to use and it works well thanks